Is there another level of success for you? You just feel kind of stuck or maybe your relationships, you're just like, they're holding you back. You know it, but you just can't do anything about it. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. And today's video is how to accelerate your success in your business and in your relationships as an entrepreneur. And so, hey, for you guys that have been with me for a little bit now, you can see I'm doing a little bit different take. I'm outside of my house, water feature, got my nanny's car uh, back there. And uh, so anyway, uh, I share with you guys that on my last video that I had a vasectomy on the previous Friday and I'm about 80% now, so things are going well, but I did not forget about any of you guys and I wanna make this video. So we'll make it short and sweet. Here's the deal. After coaching thousands of entrepreneurs around the world, what I found for them is the reason why they don't have the success they want or have the relationships they want is because they kind of get, and it's no fault of their own at times, it's just they get sucked into their environment, their experience, and what they're looking to accomplish and who do they spend time with to get that done. So for example, entrepreneurs, I coach a lot of internet marketing entrepreneurs and what do they do? They have, you know, copywriters, they have, uh, you know, video editors, all that. So they start spending their time around those people who have great skills, but may not be aligned in their values. And so what happens is as entrepreneurs, we can get sucked into, you know, these big vehicles that go by. <laughs> no, we can get sucked into our world, our relationships, being those by default and not by design. And so if I'm gonna encourage you guys to make one shift today, if you really wanna make a conscious shift to elevate your success, it's all about who you spend time with, how you, the biggest thing that I've been told growing up and being in the personal development space is your success is in direct proportion to the people that you spend time with. They say you're the average of your five friends and income level. And so if you take your five favorite friends that you spend time with the most, the people you spend time with the most, you're usually on average. So if that's true, we gotta be cautious of the relationships that we have, right? We gotta be conscious of those relationships and not by default, but by design. So yeah, you might have video editors, you might have copywriters, you might have you know, virtual assistants that work for you. But just because those people are not by default helping you have success in your life, doesn't mean that's where you got to spend most of your time. What I would encourage you to do is say, okay, who, what are the values that I have? What am I looking to achieve in my life? Because as you go to that next level, as you go to that point where you're looking to elevate your relationships and your success, you got to design, who am I spending time with? Do they align with my values? Do they have the same vision as me? Do they live by the same principles or similar principles as me? When you decide that, and you guys kind of have that same outcome in life, when you decide that and all of a sudden you start living it, the game changes, right? And I tell clients all the time, I have friends that if I want to go, we got UPS back here, <laughs> always got to say hi to them. They're always uh, stopping at our house. But if I want to have, I have friends that if I want to go like mountain biking, I can. I have friends that, a different group of friends for snowboarding. I have different groups of friends that I can talk about business and talking about, you know, getting to that seven, eight figure mark that I can't do with my mountain biking friends because they're at a different level. I want to spend time around those people that are breathing a bigger vision into me. They're breathing more belief into me. They're achieving more than me. Because when I get around them, my vision seems smaller. My goals seem smaller. And therefore, I got to elevate my game. So you want to be cautious of who you spend your time with. Because when you do, when you're spending around people who have, you know, that if you're looking to hit seven figures and they have eight figures, you're going to see that you're thinking too small, that it's easier to achieve those goals that you think are so big. For them, it's a little and it shifts the way you think about it. You spend time around those people, your success is going to go through the roof. You're going to be more fulfilled in your relationships because you'll be around quality people that align with your values and your vision and your goals. And all of a sudden, life accelerates. Life goes to the next level. And that is a portion of what we call master life by design. So if you're looking to go to that next level, consciously decide, look, take inventory. Who are you spending your time with a lot right now? And who do you need to spend time with? Who are those people? Make a list. Start being intentional about reaching out to them. And the more that you reach out, initiate those relationships, make sure you go into it. It's not saying, what can I get? 
but how can I add more value to their life? And so, so many times when we seek people out, we think about what can you receive from them? When you think about what can you give to them, the game changes, right? And so whenever I go into relationships, I'm always looking at how can I provide more value? How can I be a blessing to them? And when I focus on that, it's just naturally people want to give back. But more importantly, I get to spend quality time around them. So what is it for you? You got to decide go make a list of who those top five to 10 people are for you that you need to consciously cultivate those relationships, water, grow. I'm sitting here every day, you know, outside, grow my plants, you know, doing what I need to do to make my yard look gorgeous. I'm cultivating that relationship with these plants, right? Watering it, feeding it, doing what I need to do, making sure it has plenty of sunlight. What are you doing for your relationships? If you want more success in your relationships and in your business, you have to be conscious. You have to design your relationships for you to go to that next level. So look, I know you guys found value in this. Hit that thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. If you guys like this type of video, comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. Be outside of the YouTube studio and kind of getting out and about. I, I do more rants and walks a lot more. I'll get a mic so it's a little bit more clear here. All right, I got one. I'll figure out how to use it. But comment. Let me know what you guys think about this video. But more, most importantly, as this big old truck i'll tell you we're getting a lot of builders through here because our communities you know it's new and they're building a lot and so these types of trucks come through all the time it's kind of annoying but most importantly hit that subscribe button right make sure that you subscribe so that you can get notified and turn on those notifications when new videos come out because we're coming out three times a week if you're a high performing entrepreneur you're looking to go to that next level in the areas of mindset marriage and business we want to make you more profitable we want to make you more passionate we want to make you more fulfilled so make sure you tune into these videos but most importantly hit that subscribe button so my name is joe moffitt with master life by design have a great one see ya